All right, I'm looking at the uh, bottom side of the instrument, which has the uh, uh, circuitry that, that controls the sweep. Um, and so, uh, let's see here, let me turn it on. Fast sweep, and uh, that is a sweep ramp over there. And it's repeating about every 233 milliseconds. So that's the fast sweep. Now, um, the fast sweep uh, shows over here. You can barely see it because it's, it's going too fast. But if I uh, put it into manual mode and I uh, turn, the, uh, turn the manual knob, I can move the frequency over. Now I'm sweeping a 70 megahertz filter, okay? So if I do a max hold on A, uh, you can see that I'm sweeping that filter and there's our 70 megahertz. So uh, if I just put it on fast, it's gonna take it a while to, to build up the whole picture, right? If I start it over here, it, it sometimes guesses right and sometimes guesses wrong. It's all by luck. So you want to have a slow, a slow ramp if your spectrum analyzer is not synchronized. You don't have a tracking generator synchronized to your generator. Okay. So there's something called slow ramp. Okay. I'll clear this again. And at first I thought slow ramp was broken. It just didn't do anything at all. And if you take a look here, it looks like it's completely broken and it's not doing anything at all. Well, the uh, operative word is slow ramp. Um, so it seems to be too slow for what I like. Here it comes. It's finally, finally decided to start ramping. And uh, so here we are ramping and it goes up and it comes down, right? And so this would be great for a pen plotter. So I think that's what it was designed for probably is if you uh, we're going to have a pen plotter. Now we don't have a pen plotter attached, but we can do a max hold, which is almost the same thing as having a pen plotter. So we just have to wait for it to finish its cycle and start up again, which takes many seconds. Um, so it's coming, there it comes. And we're going through the filter and there we go. We're getting a nice picture of the filter finally. So that is what slow, slow ramp does. And slow ramp is just fine and it works great. It's just too slow. Um, so can I speed up slow to make it maybe not so slow? So let's take a look at, uh, let's take a look at some things. So here is the uh, schematic. Is that going to be blown out in the camera? I think it is. Let me turn the camera down a bit. Okay. Um, this is the ramp generator. That's it. One, uh, two transistors. And this transistor is just an enabled transistor. Basically, one transistor does all of the ramping. And uh, what it does is it charges up a capacitor. And uh, the capacitor charges up a C1 which is 3.5 microfarads, and that gives us about a 233 millisecond uh, rise time. And when we put it into slow mode, it parallels across to the 300 microfarad capacitor, and that slows it way down. So it slows it down by a factor of 100. What if we only wanted to slow it down by a factor of 10? Uh, we can put in a 30 microfarad capacitor. That might be a whole lot, a whole lot better. So anyway, that's what I'm thinking. Uh, so uh, down over here, uh, get something to point with. Get my scope probe out of the way. Um, this is the transistor that's ramping. Is that in the picture there? Oh, no, my camera is not not showing that very well. No, there we go. Okay, so this is the transistor that's ramping. This transistor uh, tra uh, capacitor right here is the 3.3, and when you switch the switch up front, it takes this capacitor, this big one here, which is 300 microfarads, and parallels that into the circuit. So, what I'm thinking of is removing this capacitor and putting in, oh, I don't know, 100 microfarads, or 30 microfarads. Uh, let's see, if, maybe 100 microfarads is a good one. Uh, we'll speed it up by a factor of three. 
and I think that will give us a nice picture. And I might be able to deal with a factor of three, but we could always change it. We could always make it more. So yeah, I think I want to take out this capacitor and put it in a different one. All right, I've taken out the uh, capacitor. Let me get the uh, solder out of the holes here. clear or not. Yeah, it is not. Put some solder in the hole. There we go. Alright. I think I'll um I'm going to put in some posts here, and I'll put the uh, capacitor on a post and so I can easily change it if I don't like the speed. There we go. Oh, that's good. Nice gold post there. Uh, let me find a, uh, let me find a hundred microfarad and put that in there. All right. Now I should just be able to loop the, loop the wire around the post and, uh, just for a trial run, All right? That should be okay. All right, clamp that one. Clamp that one. Let's try that. Let's see how that works. Okay, I've just kind of bodged it over there. And we can take a look at our spectrum analyzer here and see if our, oh yeah, see it's moving across much, much faster. So it still waits a bit at the beginning. There's like a flat spot where it's not doing anything. And then it finally decides to take off. All right, so let's do a max hold on that. See how that's working out. Yeah, there we go. See, it's not, it's not, it's still a little bit wiggly. Um, so 300 actually was a little bit nicer. Uh, we are missing, we are missing some of the, uh, some of the values. There we go. It's catching a couple more. Uh, there we go. So. Maybe they're smart. Maybe 300 was the right value. Uh, maybe 220. Let's try 220. Okay. Okay, I have a uh, 220. And uh, we, will, we will see how fast that is. Let's do a uh, hold on that. There we go. And it's moving across. Yeah, it's not skipping any beats. So I think... Uh, at least for these particular settings on the SN spectrum analyzer, uh, 220 is fine. It's still really, really slow from where I wanted to start out, but I think I can live with it. Um, 100 just wasn't going to be right. 220 seems to be perfect, so I think I uh, will leave that in there. It comes once more. Zip, ba down. All right. We'll. Uh, We'll call it good and uh, button it back up. Let me uh, show you around here. I don't think I've seen you. I don't think you've seen this um, side of the board before or machine before. 
I'll turn it off here. So we have a uh, edge connector here going into the big board and uh, there's an edge connector over here on the on so there's two edge connectors on that big board there is a uh, power supply board over here on an edge connector um, there is the power coming in over here and uh, some fuses and you think oh those are the AC fuses no the AC fuse is back here there's a fuse on the um, minus 75 volt supply and a fuse on the minus six and a half 6.3 volt supply so yeah it's got minus 75 volts running around here so you have to be a little bit careful um, and then it, uh, like I said it's got this connector here and uh, comes back around so there you go lots of adjustments now this thing seems like it could use some calibration um, so I'm gonna have to read the manual and figure out uh, how to calibrate this thing it's a few Hertz off um, if you set it to 50 and it's measuring like 51 52 something like that so we should be able to fix that up um, but yeah so far so far so good <laughs>